Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Saturday the 20th of May 2023. I'm in Czech Republic and I'm hunting for some mushrooms. Let's start. We have a great surprise here. I expected black morels here, but this is a yellow one. So I decided to take it. It's a bit small and damaged by slugs, but I noticed that there were some ash trees near it and I know that these mushrooms like to grow near ashes. So I tried to search if there are any more ashes and I think these are starting leaves of an ash. So I decided to look under this tree and it was a great idea because I will show you what I have found here. First I have noticed this monster, a giant yellow morel, morels from the Morchella esculenta family, MES compared to my hand, it's enormous. Here is one more. A bit smaller but this this one looks basically perfect it's still huge looks very fresh so another beautiful piece and there is a third one here quite huge destroyed by slugs a bit but I think I will take all three of them after I take some pictures. So let's start picking them. I will start with the monster, with the biggest one. I haven't found many yellow morels, but I think this will be the biggest one I have ever found for a long time. And it still looks in a good shape. I see a bit dry parts somewhere, but I think this one should be usable. I'm a bit, wor bit more worried about this one because I see some white flake on top and I'm afraid that could be mold here and if that's mold I would probably discard the whole mushroom which would of course be pity because it's beautiful but you should not risk to eat moldy mushrooms they can be toxic I will probably use it for some more pictures and then maybe just let it be And the last one. Slugs were getting some damage to it, but uh, I still like it. And this is my most incredible yellow morel find so far. Look at this. So here they are all four together from this place. I'm wondering if I will find any more of them. And I'm very sorry that I need to throw this one away because it's moldy on top. It's the most perfect one. But it has some mold so it can be toxic. I think you also deserve to see how they look like when I clean them. So I will start with the smallest one. Seems good. As you can see the stem is hollow. 
on the bottom it can be a bit more uh, structured but it's still a hollow stem you can also see by the holes from the slugs that it's hollow inside I'm wondering about the big boy there is a little spider coming out it's quite common that in mushrooms you can find some insect The stem is very nice, I will keep it like this and we'll take it home of course. This is a beautiful yellow morel and this is the moldy one. This on top is mold so I'm not taking this one but I can still show you how beautiful it is. How it looks like when I cut the stem. I can cut this one much more because I'm not taking it. So you can see the stem is hollow and if we make a cut through this is how it looks like inside. So at least we can use this moldy one as a showcase how it looks on a cut inside in the stem and yeah this was a really beautiful one and I'm very happy I was able to take some videos and pictures of it my luck with ash trees continues and here we have another huge guy looks healthy a bit bitten by slugs again but I will take it after I take a picture Nice one. Here we have some giant, very huge ink cups compared to my hand. Also here. Huge. And this is what I have in my bag. The giant one two huge ones and one small morel so I had no luck to find more of them but even finding this was really good luck so I'm very happy if you would like to see more mushrooms because this video is quite short then you can check my other videos which are waiting just for you thank you all for watching and see you next time bye bye